What's going on y'all, Chuck Nunface here. And today uh, we're gonna do a little work on this guy right here and see if we can't tune it up a little bit. This is a, an older, not super old, but older CQC8 sent to me by a buddy of mine on Instagram. Um, you know, he's kind of been checking out, you know, the Emersons that I've had and he's had this one for a while and he's trying to get the action a little bit better on it. And um, so I said, yeah, sure. He's like, oh yeah, he, he had asked me, he goes, you know, you should do a video on how to tune Emerson's and everything else. He's like, I got a CQC8 that's not really doing what I want it to do. And so I said, well, why don't you send it to me and we'll make that the video. And so he went ahead and sent it to me. So I appreciate that. And so this is the knife right here and it's definitely got some miles on it. It's well loved. Um, you know, here's a, a new CQC8 right there. So you can tell right off the bat, he's lost a little bit of uh, blade length just from use and sharpening and everything else. And so that's pretty cool. It's, um, you know, one of those things where it's kind of a badge of honor with a lot of knives, Emerson's especially, I would say. Um, so yeah, he's definitely been getting a lot of use out of this. And uh, so I said, you know, I'll have to go ahead and I'll take a look at it. We'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll do a video on it and everything else. Now, the first thing you have to realize is if you get an older Emerson, um, now this isn't super old, it is a backspacer model, I think, or not a backspacer model, it's a standoff model. So I think they went to those in 2015. Somebody maybe wanna correct me in the comments on when they actually moved to those, but it is still a double detent version. So they hadn't moved over to the double or the single detent yet. Like I think they did that in 2018. Once again, I may be wrong. So this is like I say, it's a new one and it's a single detent and when you get an older Emerson, you kind of have to temper your expectations a little bit and, you know, just realize that it may not be, you know, as flicky and as fidgety as you're expecting. It's not a, it's not a Spyderco, it's not a Benchmade, it's not, you know, a Riyadh or anything like that. Um, the philosophy behind the construction was never for it to be, you know, have a real slick action or anything like that. It was just for it to deploy reliably um, using the wave feature. Um, not open up in your pocket, things like that. And so, you know, kind of a, a rollout is really more of a common opening or deployment method. Now it can be flicked open with a little bit of wrist on this one, um, but it is not, uh, it's not what you may expect, you know, getting a modern uh, tactical folder. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of dive into it a little bit here, that disclaimer out of the way, see if there's anything I can do to kind of, Fix it up a little bit. One thing about Emerson's that's nice is it's very simple just to kind of take them down. You don't need anything fancy. Um, just a regular old flathead screwdriver and then a Phillips screwdriver. Now this was really dirty and gritty um, and I've already kind of given it a bath off camera. Uh, I gave it a bath in just some soapy water, just some dish soap. Um, and so I did that already and, oops, I gotta change my bit. I thought I had the right bit in here and I don't. Put that back so I don't lose it. So we'll get this thing taken apart and we'll see if there's anything we can do to make it a little bit better. Oops. Now, I don't know. Um, like I say, you kind of have to temper your expectations a little bit with these, with these older ones. That came right apart. And just realize that they're not, they're not, um, you know, what we've come to expect from folding knives um, with slick actions and everything else. Now, you know, like I said, it's gotten better with the new single detent. Um, but, you know, the knife I'm carrying in my pocket right now, the Roadhouse doing this for the one month, uh, one knife August challenge, kind of the same deal, not super flicky, you know, but got a nice smooth action to it. We kind of overuse that term smooth, but you know, it does have kind of a hydraulic feel, you know, not Chris Reeve hydraulic, but still kind of a hydraulic feel to it. So just a little rubbing alcohol on a paper towel, kind of clean those washers off. Yeah, it was pretty gritty when I first got it and I opened it up. Um, and so I think it'll definitely benefit from a, quick wipe down so that's a this is the uh this is the lock side scale or is this the lock side scale or the, the, this is the show side scale and it actually has a that's the d10 right there so it's just in the uh the steel liner um there's a cutout and then a d10 pressed in 
and it's just kind of pushed out a little bit right there. So we'll see if we can't do anything. I'm not going to take the whole thing apart side. I don't think it's going to be necessary. I don't think I'm going to gain anything from it. Just give it a quick wipe down, clean off that lock face. Yeah, get some of that grit cleaned up. And the lock face is looking good. See that the, the lock face is titanium, so that's TI, and that's kind of warning right there, which is to be expected. Um, you know, good thing is this thing, it didn't really have any lock stick or anything like that. So ever since they are known for having some lock stick, but it kind of goes away um, after you use them and you break them in and everything else. It tends to go away pretty, pretty quickly. Um, you know, but there is a little bit of stick in the break-in period. But I'll, I'll actually kind of show my solution for lock stick too while we're, we're doing this. So one of the things you can do is you can adjust how this detent is right here. So you can move it more this way, or you can push it out even further to put a little bit more tension on the blade. It's very similar in the way that you would kind of flex a lock bar over um, because your detent was too light. And you can kind of flex your lock bar over. In fact, I'm gonna do that a little bit on this one. See if I can't flex it over just a hair. Put a little bit more tension on that blade, maybe. I'll see if that kind of does anything. And maybe we'll even try to lighten it up on this side just a hair. Maybe we'll get something out of that. And so this, you just want to kind of push that in a little bit more or out a little bit more using a, you know, just your flathead screwdriver. Push it out like that. We're just kind of pushing in a little bit. Careful not to pop your detent out in doing so. But I'm gonna try pushing that out back a little bit. But we'll see, we'll see. You know, if we can make this just a touch better. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure, it's honestly, um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a train wreck. And really, this knife is not too bad. So these have a, one thing that's nice, is they do have a, um, a capture pivot system so that's always good when you're kind of putting things back together so you won't have that free spinning action go ahead and we'll lube up that washer a little bit um this right here i'm going to use uh this is mcmurdy's mcmurtry's i should say edc oil this was uh this was sent to me by mcmurtry's themselves um they have a instagram page um, I'll put a, go ahead and put a link in the description. I've been using this on my knives lately, um, and it's really good. It's got a nice viscosity. It's a little bit of a heavier weight. Um, and so normally I use like KPL, uh, and that's that's kind of been my go-to, and just a standard weight KPL. I know they sell other, other weights and everything else, so you can get a heavier one, more viscous one if you want. Um, but this is the one I've been using, or that's the one I've been using is just the standard, and um, I like this better. Uh, but I mean, that's not to say it's the, the be all and end all solution, but I do like that stuff. I have liked how it's performed. Um, it does have quite a bit of an odor to it though. That's something to be advised, be aware of. So it may not be, you know, like a food safe. It kind of smells a lot like motor oil, but it does a great job. So I don't know if I would use it as a coating or a protectant on, you know, a knife that I was going to do a lot of food prep with, but um, it's definitely not bad at all. So yeah, these washers right here too, they're Nylatron washers, and a lot of people kind of turn their nose up at synthetic washers like that. They want PB or, and they're not your typical nylon washers either that you would find in, say, uh, a hinderer. Um, they're nice. They're, I think they're 0.3. Point threes or three hundredths thick um, and they break in really nicely they really do you know a lot of people kind of turn their nose up at nylon and nylatron as these are but uh they really do a good job I like them a lot all right so we'll kind of get this thing mock put up together put back together here see if we get anywhere with this I may end up taking this down again. We'll see. 
We'll see. I don't know. Put these back in here. And we'll start at the bottom. And I'm only going to just kind of put these. I'm not going to crank down on these. Because what I'm going to do also is I'm going to maybe strip or not strip the cross thread right there. What's going on here? That one was to spin. All right, we got it. Okay. This is one of the few double detent Emersons. It's actually centered without any trouble, which is pretty rare. Okay, so I've got this cranked down. Tighten it a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and start cinching up our body, body screws a little bit more here. Sorry, I'm trying to do everything on camera. You know, this, I have to say, the owner may be a little disappointed because right, it's way tight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it better than he had it, but we'll try. Because the key is, you don't want to have any, oh wait, Okay, I don't have enough of a detent now. Well, that stick isn't that good right now. We'll work on that in a minute. Yeah, that's, that stick is intense right now, but we can fix that. Um, I need more pressure. I need to put that detent back where it was or push it in a little bit more because now I'm not getting enough pressure on the blade itself and it's too weak, the detent's weak. And that's not good. That doesn't solve anything if the detent's gonna be weak. So yeah, Emerson moving over to those single detents, I think, like I said, 20, I think it was 2018, maybe I'm wrong, but it wasn't long ago when they moved over to single detents and that was, a good move. They are better. I mean, there's a lot of charm to these older ones. You know, that really, if you're a fan of the brand, shouldn't be denied. But, um, the new ones, if you're looking for action, you know, if you're looking for a nice action, so I push that out. That might be just back where it was. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a good action, um, the new ones got you covered. They really do. They have done a good job with them. So I'm gonna put this back together. Can be a little tedious doing this. It really can because there's a lot of trial and error involved. I and mean, anytime you have to take something apart, put it back together and take it apart, put it back together and take it apart, put it back together, it can get a little tedious. And um, I may do some things off camera after putting this back together if I'm still not happy, because I don't want this just to just kind of drag on with me trying to troubleshoot a bunch of different things. But um, we'll give it another shot. At the very least, you know, this video will kind of give you an idea of what you can do, you know, as far as adjusting your detents. Um, I've never heard anything from Emerson about that being a warranty issue, um, but certainly do it at your own risk. I mean, it's your knife, it's your choice, but, you know, anytime you start flexing bar lock bars and doing things like that, you run the risk that you may break something, and I don't know if they would warranty if you were changing the integrity of their product but that's not my decision to make that would be up to emerson Let's see if i can back that off a little bit all right it's still a little stiff well so the goal is you want to have it the nice action, but also no blade play. Okay, we still don't have blade plays, which is nice. I 
I think that's good. I think this may be as good. Yeah, you hear that lock stick, but this may be as good as I'm going to get it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bugger around with it anymore. It's just one of those things where it's old style Emerson versus new style Emerson. Um, and it's really, in this particular example, it's not as bad as it could be. It really isn't. Um, like I say, this is a new old stock um, roadhouse and it's kind of the same deal. Yeah, I can flick it out, but I need a little bit of wrist. But as you can see also, I've got the detent kind of pushed out like that too. The double detent right there, it's kind of pushed out. Um, this is a 2011, so it's older than this one because I think they stopped dating in after 2013. So this is a, the oldest this could be is a 2014, I believe. Once again, jumping on the comments um, if I got that wrong. Uh, but it's really, it's, I hate to say it, but it's not that bad. This is a, this is a newer one. I don't know when this was made in the last year or two, you know, direct from Emerson. So it's going to be different. It's just a different knife. It's a different experience. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to mess with it anymore. I think it's probably as good as it's going to get. But you notice that lock stick. We've talked about that lock stick. Let's address it a little bit. Hopefully, if you're still watching right now, um, if you stuck by this long, you are going to see the lock, the lock stick solution. This is OxGuard. It's an antioxidant compound. You could, there's other brands. This is the Gardner Bender. Get it on Amazon. You can get a big old tube of it. I don't know exactly how much it is, but just search for it on Amazon, OxGuard, and you'll be all set. So what you want to do is you want to take a little bit on a toothpick. You go ahead and you dab it on the tang. On the, on the tang of the blade, where the lock is gonna be interacting with it. All right, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit right there. Little dab will do ya. And then just work it in a few times. Look at, there's zero stick. Zero. Smooth like butter. That's what I do every time. I don't mess with Sharpies. I don't mess with pencil lead. I don't do any of that. You get yourself a tube of this and it'll get you through a break-in period, all right? Bonus points, open it up real hard, leave it overnight. I don't have any true scientific evidence to say that that's gonna make it work better. Purely anecdotal, um, but it has done, I, I don't know, I just feel like it kind of absorbs at a molecular level into the different pieces of metal, the interacting pieces of metal just a little bit more. Um, maybe I'm full of it, maybe not. Um, it's just my own personal experience. I think it acts even a little bit better. And then you're just going to go ahead and wipe off the excess uh, the next day. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. I'm not going to wipe off the excess because I'm going to kind of let it soak in and marinate a little bit right there. But as you can see, I'll whip it open hard. There's no stick. I mean, there's that typical Emerson stick. But I mean, that's, you know, that's TI to steel. You're going to get that on a lot of knives. Um, so, I mean, that's nothing right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that at that. Oxcar, get it on Amazon, find it at your local hardware store. Um, that's all you gotta to do to fix the lock stick right there. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Um, hopefully you found this video informative. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button there right there on the side. Give me a follow on Instagram, at Chuck underscore Nunface. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Correct me if I made any mistakes as far as dates go and everything else. Um, but yeah, let me know if you think this is any, helpful at all. Like I say, um, I don't know if this has actually made the knife any better. Uh, it really wasn't that bad. I think the owner is just going to need to kind of temper his expectations as for what an older Emerson should feel like, um, as opposed to what a newer Emerson with a single detent is going to feel like. Um, he should be happy too, though, because this is one of the few double detent Emersons that I've ever seen ever come across that has not given me issues with centering. Almost every one of them are a problem every time you take it apart, and this one is good. So you got yourself a good one right there, my man. Um, so there is that. Uh, in any case, that's going to be it for me. Thanks a lot, y'all. Appreciate you checking it out. Give me a follow in all the usual spots, and I will catch you next time.